श्याम राम श्याम जदुरानी और श्याम इनफेक्ट नॉट मोर That is, our Srila Prabhupada being uh, the embodiment of Gaudavani Pracharne. That is, he came to give the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And what are the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? There are certain verses which are the essential verses which describe his entire mission and whole books are based on that particular slope. For example, the Mangalacharanam slope, main Mangalacharanam slope of Chaitanya Charitamrita, which all the rest of the 17 volumes explains, is this verse in Arpita Chalim Charat. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give what no other incarnation or uh, acharya ever gave before in this day of Brahma. In the previous day of Brahma, this teaching was given by the same Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And our Srila Prabhupada is Gauravani Pracharne. Srila Gurudev gave two lectures in his last tour in Holland and Alachua. What is the meaning of Gauravani Pracharne? So one verse that explains this is this verse in Arvita Chaning Charat. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give what no other incarnation or acharya ever gave before except the previous day of Rama when Mahaprabhu himself gave it and that is Unat Ojvarasam Svabhakti Priyam Svabhakti Sriyam that is he came to give um, as Gurudev said this morning the service of Srimati Radharani in Paraki above, in Unak Ojvalaras. There are two kinds of Unak Ojvalaras. One is, and they're both Paraki Aras. One is the direct relationship with Krishna, and that is called um, Kamatmika, Kamanuga, uh, Sambo Atmika, Bhakti. And that is the service of Srimati Radhika, Lalita, Vishaka, and so on. Then that Onarojvalarasan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not come to give. He did not come to give 
the service that Srimati Radharani herself gives. But he came to give a great treasure. Srila Prabhupada translates the word Sriyam as treasure. But a treasure chest is usually known to be locked. So Srila Prabhupada's books are also locked up. And one requires the pure devotee, another pure devotee, who has the key to unlock that treasure chest. I once came for a Manashiksha class in Mathura that Srila Gurudev was giving in English in 1994. That day, I didn't know it, but the um, class was called off and Gurudev was just speaking to some uh, Indian speaking, Hindi speaking devotees. But I came, I spent an hour traveling to get there. So he felt he had to say something to me to make that trip worthwhile since I wasn't going to get a class. So one sentence he said was like a million classes. He said, so now I've given a shovel to dig deeply into Srila Prabhupada's books. So this word, Shriya, which Prabhupada puts as his word for word synonyms, treasure, when you unlock that treasure chest, you find by Srila Gurudev's mercy that Shriya means soba or beauty. The beauty of the creeper which winds around the tree is its leaves and fruits and flowers. The creeper is Srimati Radhika and the tree is Krishna. And the service to Srimati Radhika doesn't have the beauty without its beauty. And what is the beauty? The beauty is the leaves, fruits and flowers which are Srimati Radhika's assistants in her service in Paraki Yabhav to Sri Krishna and that is her sakis and her mantris or maidservants. Srila Gurudev gives the example of a bee. The bee uh, goes onto the flower to relish the honey in the flower and the bee will not sit on the um, stamen or the mantri of the flower because it's always moving. So uh, Krishna sits or he enjoys amorous affairs with Srimati Radhika and that is one kind of ujvalada. But the other kind, Tatkat Bhavati Chitatmika, is the kind that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give the fortunate jivas. And that is that stamen or manjari on top of the flower, which has no interest. It's always going back and forth, saying no, no. No interest in a personal relationship with Krishna, but only desiring to assist Srimati Radhika and getting their full pleasure in the meeting of Srimati Radhika. When there is distress of Srimati Radhika in her separation from Krishna, then they are also feeling distress. And when Srimati Radhika is in a superior position, or when they are meeting, or when they defeated Krishna, then they also feel uh, successful in their life. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give this. Another essential verse of Gauravani, which our Srila Prabhupada embodies, Gauravani Pucharane, is Araju Bhagavan Prajesh Kanayas Tadhama Vrindavana. That is, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching that our Arajdev is Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Prajesh Kanaya. It's not Dwarkadish, it's not Maturesh, it's not Lord Narayan, but it's Prajesh Kanaya, the son of Nanda Baba, the son of Nanda Maharaj and Jashwamati Nanda. And Vrajesha Kanaya Kadam Vrindavana and his abode is equally worshipable. Then um, Araja Bhagavan Vrajesha Kanaya Kadam Vrindavana Ramya Karchi Upasana the Upasana or the worship of the uh, Braja Ramanis or the young gopis is the highest um, means of worship of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Our Prabhupada, in fact, used the word uh, kalpita manufactured. They manufactured something, but because they are the supreme knowers of Krishna, being the highest bhaktas, and as Krishna told Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita, I am 
only known by unalloyed bhakti. As I am standing before you, I can only be understood by unalloyed bhakti. The bhakti of the gopis and particularly Srimati Radhika is the highest and therefore their so-called manufacturing is absolute reality because they know best Krishna, his moods, better even than he knows himself and they know how to worship him. Where is the evidence for this? The evidence is in Srimad Bhagavatam. Ramya Karchi Vipasanam Rajabadu Bhargena Jakalpita Srimad Bhagavatam Quran Amalam And the best evidence for this is Srimad Bhagavatam where Krishna himself tells the gopis that I have no capacity to repay you. Your activities themselves will have to be its own payment. Krishna says in the Gita that as they surrender to me, I reward them accordingly. But Krishna told the gopis, I have no capacity to reward you accordingly. I'll always remain indebted to you. Even if I try for a day of Brahma, I won't be able to repay my debt to you. So the evidence is Srimad Bhagavatam. Then, whose opinion is this? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamiga, this is his idea, his opinion. Tatra Daro Naparam. And Srila Viswanath Chakrabari Thakur is saying, I have no other uh, interest, no interest in anyone else's opinion than the opinion of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His other essential teaching is taught to us by Srila uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur in his Das Muma Shiksha. That is, this is the teaching that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave to the Jivas. That Sri Krishna is the absolute truth. He's the embodiment of all shaktis, all powers, and the reservoirs of all rasas. There's two kinds of living entities, those who are conditioned and those who are liberated. The conditioned souls turning away from him and the liberated souls turning towards him. This material world is energy that is simultaneously one with and different from the Lord. The means to reach the ultimate goal of life is sudden bhakti, and the goal of life is prema bhakti. These are the essential teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the fortunate jivas. So our Srila Prabhupada being Gauravani Pacharane, this is what he came to give us, the same thing that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give us, because our Srila Prabhupada's heart is one with the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna, who came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to become one with the heart of Srimati Radhika. That is our Srila Prabhupada. Can you tell who made this two slopes about Swamiji? Your disciples of Swamiji, can you tell who made this originally? Can you? Who did? You are all senior devotees of Swamiji. Huh? Hemsan. Hemsan, really. All requested him that we wanted uh, Pranam Mantra, like Siddha Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, Namam Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Krishthaya. And they are requesting and requesting. At least he has to meet it. Anyone, disciples are not so much qualified to do this. So, mercifully, mercifully. He was very great learned scholar. And, um, like knowing all Siddham. So I know that we have Country. You heard the his object Gaurabani. What is Gaurabani? Oh, see, explained it. That I told in English for anywhere, I don't remember. So, Gaurabani. 
अराध्य दूर भगवान ब्रजेश देसी को भी बड़ी एंड आल्सो अनर्क चली मची एंड मन श्लोक से लग भक्ति के नाम ठाक रहे हैं अंगनाय प्रातत्तम भरीमी या परम सर्व शक्ति निशान दिस गोल्ड बैंड गोविंद परिवार कैंडी स्प्लेंड एंड ग्लोरीफाइड हाउ यू डू दे Very quickly, in couple of years, he pushed over entire world. Very quickly. And what is the essence of his teachings? Very quickly. He was so many years serving his guru, and he is here. So I told him. Like Narada, when Narada left his home, his mother had passed away. He went to. He was anxious. He had had good sangha, and so he was. In that sangha, he was inspired. So he went, and he finally came to meditate. And because of his inspiration and the sadhu sangha he had had, immediately he had the vision of God. And but something strange happened. That vision disappeared immediately. So he wanted to refocus and have more of that same thing. He was his heart was becoming anxious. And then uh, he said to him, "The Lord said, 'There's a reason that I'm doing this, like playing cat and mouse. Etat uh, kamayate. It means I'm doing this just to increase your anger. So, and in the same way, that mood of anger, beginning there in the first canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam and extending all the way up to the things that Shamarani Didi just mentioned." In the tenth canto, Ras Panchadaya of Sri Man Bhagavatam, this the entire purpose is to increase the hungry for Krishna Rati Bhav Prem. Like Mahaprabhu said, Nayanam Galadashudaya, Gadgada Rudhaya, Gira Gira, Badanam Gadgada Rudhaya Gira, Nichitam Bhukada. Always, Mahaprabhu was wondering when will tears flood my face when I chant Hari Nam, and when will my voice get choked and I can't even speak anymore when trying to chant? When will the hairs stand on my body? So, in this way, it's like the benchmark that all our acharyas have given to measure. Krishna consciousness, uh, like Bhaktivinoda Shila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, "Puni bolu ti bo hari nam rasa namarasi mati hoy bo vishvas." The same thing. When will I have this deep taste for the nectar of the holy name of Krishna? But he also, in the same verse, gave the secret how to have it. Rasa uh, rasika charna parash. By touching the feet of those who are rasara rasik, who can taste, who know, who are expert in tasting the transcendental mellows themselves, by touching their feet, I will know how to anchor for the same thing. So, by injecting this mood in the hearts of so many of us. Our Shri Prabhupada, like 
like a, like a dispensary gave out so many packets of medicine, packets of sweets. Like maybe after uh, the Prabhachan tonight, Maharaj will give out some sweets. In the same way, Srila Prabhupada Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj gave out sweets everywhere. And some had some sukriti, or maybe no sukriti, but somehow or other they were able to taste through no qualification. Like that, he came and picked up so many of us. And also, I wanted to say that he 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 gave the secret, like Bhaktivinoda Thakur in that verse. Srila Prabhupada gave the same secret. Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Bhakti Janma Mulo Vaisadhi Sandra, Krishna Prem Janme, Teno Puna Mukhyandra. He said that the association with sadhus is like an electrical current. Srila Prabhupada always gave this example of a powerhouse and a plug. The powerhouse is Krishna and Parikar. But the plug is the pure devotee who preaches Krishna Bhakti everywhere. So you can plug anywhere into that. Here in this room we can plug in and get the same power as the powerhouse. Here in this room we can plug in and get the same power as the powerhouse. So Srila Prabhupada also gave the principle of Tad Anuragi Jananugami, that by the association of those who have, who are Rasarara Sikha, who can actually taste the sublime mellows of Krishna Bhakti in the mood of uh, in the mood of Braj, then those pure devotees are like the plugs where we can tap into the power source and get that pure Krishna Bhakti ourselves. Thank you. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Hindi line, Narottam Thakur. 
जगन्नाथ दास भगवान महाराज श्री भक्ति में उठा एम श्री प्रभुपाद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी You have never established anything new. Hmm? You know that Krishna consciousness is what? No, no, he is. Yes, I mean, what he has named his mission. This is not new thing. <coughs> Or something, same way in the Buddha. The spirit, the mission, the object is same. But he has told him in English. <coughs> I told you so many times that Brahma, Nara. व्यास देव गोस्वामी और ध्यान ओरिजिनल मेंबर ऑफ इस एनी मेंबर ऑफ इस कॉन कैनेट डिसीट आर कैनेट फॉल डाउन मैं वर्क मैं वर्क वो इस रियली कृष्ण कॉन्सेसनेस इट विल डू मोर इट मे Member, Jerry Member, sir. Yes, sir. Can you make a member of a school? Can any member of a school can fall down or deficient? They can never. Now, they are so they go strong. So, up to the level of Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta, sir. Your guru, then, my Siksha guru, he is good. He can fall. So any member falling down or deviating, they were never member of his school, never and never, and they will be no. They are not the same, but anyone can try to be member by practice and following them. So we hold the mission of. Sila Swami Ji was same as the Rupa and our disciple in life. <coughs> the essence of all that, Jivaya Swami Ji, Mitya Krishna Bhas, whether we know or not, where, whether we accept or not, but स्वरूपे ते सकल गोलोक स्थिति बट इन रियल दंस्टिट्यूशनल पोजिशन ऑफ ऑल दी दे आर सर्वेंट ऑफ नित सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्ण अनफॉर्चुनेट Unfortunately, by any special reason, we some of them have been deviated by that. We are deviated, not from Golok Vinda, but really from borderline. That is Tatastha. Tatastha position, not from God. Anyone going to Golok? How they can return back to this world? They can. Jagadapa, nami varante, tadham param. So that is why it is param dha. Why? 
तो देवी धाम स्वर्ग तपोलो ब्रह्म लोग परम देवी धाम मोहिनी लोग एनवन कंट्री टन है बट इन इन दैट धाम वो इज परम धाम परम इज परम सुप्रीम लाइक कृष्ण नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन इन धाम एंड हिम सो परम धाम सो एनी वन कैन डिफिशिएट फ्रॉम दैट लैंड सो बट एनी हाउ वी हैव फ्रॉम मॉर्जिनल लाइन वी हैव फॉर गेटेड so to remind me question of comes essence is rep- represented in sometimes it comes in ram form nishing form and other form to so remind us that it is must back to god and back to him back to god he can Ah, your home is there. So, how to go? How to go there? That uh, that was his mission or object. So we should try to follow. <coughs> so in this, in the conclusion. We know that in our constitutional form position, we are all <coughs> need the servant, eternal servant of Krishna. We cannot be happy in this world, this related world. You can by any position, by money, by position, by anything, you can. So. We know that we should practice bhakti yoga. Without practicing bhakti yoga, you cannot attain your that original constitution position. Never and never. So, <coughs> Masipuri Krishna has manifested Sri Madhavatam. That is our third. मोर देन बेदा देन उपनिषद देन पूरा सो ऑल द गोस्वामी बुक्स हैव कम फ्रॉम और दैट थिंग श्रीमद् भागवत इन ईच एंड एवरी लाइन ऑफ श्रीमद् भागवत ऑल दिस ट्रांसेंडेंटल सिद्धांत हैव बीन गिवन सबई पुंसान परो धर्म जतो भक्ति अदुक करे अहे तुक्या अभ्यक्तता या भक्ति पुरुषोत्तम भक्ति बट वट इज दैट भक्ति विश्व इट इज नॉट एनीशन ऑफ माइंड नथिंग इन भागवत स्पेशली रूप गोस्टा मी है टोल बाय द इंस्पिरेशन ऑफ श्री चैतन्य रेली दिस इज स्लो ऑफ भक्ति इज फ्रॉम चैतन्य महाकुभ इन इंस्पायर्ड हिम इन प्रयाग एंड आफ्टर दैट इन इंस्पायर्ड इन जगन्नाथ एंड ही रिक्वेस्टेड हिज ऑल एसोसिएट टू बी मर्सीफुल टू स्पेंड टू मर्सी ऑन रूप गोस्वा सो दैट ही कैन नो माई हार्ट एंड ही कैन गिव टू दिस वर्ल्ड सो चैत रूप गोस्वामी हैज रिटर्न अन्या अन्यालासिता शून्य ज्ञान पर मध्यनाथम आनुकूल कृष्णानुशीलन भक्ति और बड़े दिन में आई वॉन्ट दैट ऑल शुड नो दिस इज ट्रू If I can't remember, but 
the essence of this slow should be remembered always. And try to follow this system, then bhakti will come. As Sri Guru Nature's there are various verses in the scriptures which are describing the glories of bhakti. Sri Guru Nature's mentioned the verse, Sivayatam Sarparoda. More louder. Yatro bhakti of what you did. <coughs> that the supreme occupation of all activities, of all persons, is to render devotional service to the Lord. And such devotional service should be a hoit to keep and a patiyata. It should be causeless, without motivation, and it should be uninterrupted. So, though this verse, this is describing very clearly what is Uttama Bhakti? But still, Srila Rupa Goswami he has described one verse which is in Bhakti Rasamita's symbol, which is said to be the emperor verse describing what is Uttama Bhakti. Anyanda Lasita Sunyam, Gyana Kama Anapitam, Anukulyana Krishna Nushrima Bhakti Vidyama. That the cultivation of all activities of the body, mind, words, but most importantly of the moods, which are directed towards the pleasure of the Supreme Lord, which are not covered by fruitive activities, means that we have to perform activities, we have to perform karma, but these activities should not um, in any way um, be a hindrance to our performance of bhakti. That it should not be covered by gyan, knowledge, means that it should not be covered by any type of impersonal knowledge. And in the higher sense, for those who have achieved the higher realms of bhakti, then Aishvarya gyan, knowledge of the um, offenses and supremacy of the Lord, should not cover one's mood in Madhurya Gyan or Shuddha Bhakti. And also the mystic um, desire for mystic perform, um, attainment, um, mystic cities, that these should not cover one's Bhakti. That the Bhakti should be flowing like a stream of honey unbroken. And in all circumstances it should be favorably disposed for the pleasure of Krishna. So when such bhakti is continuous, unbroken, and without any hindrance, then it is said to be Uttama Bhakti. Thank you. If you hear more, stand up and hear more in your words. I mm, ask anyone if the lady devotees or well devotees also be prepared to explain all top to bottom. I may what an animal lost point. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Don't fear. <laughs> and I believe very soon, tomorrow you should make a drama play. Very attractive and with good teachings. Everything is an emanation of Krishna simultaneously. The same as Krishna, yet the same. Not, not working? We are not so well. Of the use of take. Yeah, but we can. It is the effect of your... So... <laughs> <laughs> all of our emotions, all of our relationships, everything that we do is actually an emanation from Krishna. It can be in one, in one of two worlds, either in the world inhabited or controlled by Yoga Maya, which is Krishna's internal potency, or Maha Maya, which is Krishna's external potency. We find ourselves inhabiting a world full of joy, of sorrow, 
and relationships. In this world, which is a reflection of the spiritual world, Sri Rupa Goswami came and described that the culmination of all human activities, which is art, which is love, which is satisfaction and happiness and um, intimacy, Sri Rupa Goswami gathered all of these things together and said, these things aren't the property of mundane poetry. These aren't the property of mundane the theatrics or the, or the property of, of mundane relationships. Sri Rupa Goswami reclaimed all of our all emotional property, happiness, sadness, anger, frustration. He reclaimed all of these things for Sri Krishna. This verse is saying that in all of our relationships, in everything that we do, everything that we say, everything that we think, in an unbroken stream, like honey, everything that we do should be in relationship to please Sri Krishna. There should be no other goal in our life and no other goal in every single action in our life except to please Sri Krishna, to make Krishna happy. In doing this, he mentions two things, karma and jnana. Karma is activity. It's, I had a really beautiful experience in Mathura with my god brother, dear god brother, Radhanath Prabhu. Probably many of you have had your um, feathers ruffled by Radhanath Prabhu. Radhanath Prabhu and I were massaging Gurudev every day. And Gurudev would have, we would come and he would ask us to recite a sloka. So this was the sloka that he wanted us to learn. So we came in and, he, and we recited the Sanskrit and he asked us to give the meaning of the sloka. So he asked me first, and I started giving him meaning. I said, we should not perform actions. And he said, what actions? He said, you have to breathe? Yes, I have to breathe. So you have to eat? Yes, I have to eat. You have to think? Yes, I have to think. So what is the meaning of not performing action? The meaning of this is that we should not perform any action that obscures or interferes with our connection to Krishna. This is the meaning of, of action devoid of propensity. Satisfying our senses. Satisfying the nature of the world, what people say we should do. The other aspect is knowledge. That was karma. This is jnana, knowledge. So we have to think, we have to think clearly? Yes, I have to think. You have to use your conceptions of not walking into the street when there's cars coming? Yes, we do. The idea is, is that when intel intellectual speculation or when knowledge interferes with the understanding that Sri Krishna is so sweet, so wonderful, and so genuine, he's the first. He and Srimati Radhika are the prototypical human beings. The reason why you have two ears and a nose and a mouth is because of Srimati Radhika and Krishna. The reason why there's trees grow in this world, the reason why there's animals, everything comes from Vrindavan. Everything has been exported from Vrindavan. Sri Rupa Goswami has come to this world to show that yes, these are exported from this dawn. They have their source there. So don't do anything in this world that obscures your relationship with Krishna and your love for Sri Krishna. This is basic, this is the conception that I have of this particular shloka of uh, Sri Rupa Goswami. Oh, what, what is the meaning? Ankulena Krishnam Ankulena Krishnam You define Anna Vilasta. Yeah. But what is the meaning? That all of our actions should be pleasurable for Krishna. Yeah. So the intrinsic, there's intrinsic meaning to the verse and an extrinsic meaning to the verse. The intrinsic meaning to, the, to this verse is that all of our actions should be pleasurable for Krishna. What? Not favorable to Krishna or Mustik. They please Our God brothers and sisters and uncles and aunts and are mentioning this, this concept of Chandra and Mushtik. Chandra and Mushtik were two wrestlers in the arena of Kamsa that tried to kill Krishna. So Krishna had a mood of heroism, a mood to fight. So these, in order to fulfill Krishna's desire, these two wrestlers went out to try to kill Krishna and try to kill Balaram. Seemingly, this was pleasurable to Krishna. But Sri the Rupa Goswami was pointing out that because these two wrestlers desired to kill Krishna, this actually was not pleasurable for Krishna. It was not. It was not favorable for Krishna for their Krishna consciousness. <laughs> Most importantly, I think that this the reason was it's not favorable for our Krishna consciousness. Because if Krishna were to, and 
how would he fulfill the rest of his pastimes? So, Srimati Yasoda, for example, Srimati Yasoda stole Krishna. She bound Krishna to a mortar and makes Krishna cry and calls Krishna names. And seemingly, is, this blood is not pleasurable for Krishna. Krishna is upset. But in actuality, she is increasing Krishna's love. Her relationship with Sri Krishna is born of intimacy. And in that, she pulls Krishna closer and increases Krishna's happiness. Thank you. So, Srila Rukh Goswami has explained what is Uttama Bhakti. From this word Uttama Bhakti, as the Rukh Goswami has told in this issue, then there shall be Madhyama Bhakti, Kanishta Bhakti. It may be like some mixture of Bhakti of Gyan, Karma, Jyot, Kapasya. So it has been told, Uttama Bhakti means pure Bhakti, Arsutra Bhakti. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur has told, in his Tattva Vivek, that there are something resembling to Bhakti, but not really Bhakti. We do some, so many things in the name of Bhakti. Bhagavat Pahitaha Paripurna Chale Dharma Prajjita Kaito Atkar Parmo Nirmasaranam Sata. In this word, related word, there are so many things in the name of Dharma which are not really Dharma. They are what? Cheating Dharma. Not pure Dharma. They are cheating. So something we do in the name of bhakti, really not bhakti. Anyone can follow Sutta Bhakti in the stage of Madhyam Uttam or Uttam stage, Uttam Bhagavata stage. Not really in Kanishta and those, I know that so many are, that even no Kanishta. Con no Kanishta. They can have, they have no conception of, conception of or real Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti. But he do. Why do? Oh, not good associates. Guru they get mantra. And he was trying to develop us our heart. But at that time, we could not fall. So sometimes, Rupa Goswami has collectively divided of thousands and thousands kinds of bhakti, of tamasic bhakti, rasic bhakti, sattvic bhakti, nirgun bhakti, Karma Mishra Bhakti, Gyan Mishra Bhakti, Yoga Mishra Bhakti. So many. These are not pure Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti. Uttama Bhakti, like Mother Jasoda, even chastising Krishna, Krishna weeping, but it is more than Uttama Bhakti. You know that to defeat anyone is not good for that defeated person. He will be. But Krishna was defeated by his friends and he was smiling and telling what? I have defeated you. You have not defeated. My nose is up. <laughs> like tricky. <laughs> so, Krishna, by what our service he will be oh, so happy. And the mood of our mood should be that we should serve Krishna. That mood. 
the small should not be like uh, to kill Krishna and to uh, to Krishna. This should be there. That is why it has been told Ankulena. Ankulena means what? Favorable. It should not be infavorable like any example. Charman, Mustikans, Kans and other. They were not favorable. But anyhow, Krishna was very happy by resting. And Mother Jasoda tried in him and Krishna was jitting. But yet it is Uttama more than Uttama Bhakti. So it should not be separate. Uh, unsepare. But this is not this symptom of Bhakti Mok. Whole symptom. What? Anukrishna, Anushilana Bhakti. Anything cannot like any flower, any tree at the time of Krishna. They cannot serve Krishna. Krishna can come on the shade of tree and he can take some fruits from it. And thus he can take service from them. Anything more, whether he is unfavorable, but whether he is action is to serve Krishna or not, this, this is the main thing. So, Anusina, all, our all kinds of <coughs> in their level. By body, mind, by words, by how, keeping, keeping aside unfair things, always involved. Like unbroken string of honey. This. Now, this is like a barometer. Measure, measuring scale. You can take it and give it a scale in your heart, whether or, or what is pure or what. Reply at once it will come. <coughs> your notes are like Mother Jasoda, Shaka, or Gopis, unbroken in day and night, twenty-four hours without break. You take meal for Krishna or yourself. You should take your meal for Krishna. But how it can? You are sleeping. You should sleep for Krishna, not for you, but you are sleeping for yourself. Gopin is sleeping and they are walking. Everything for Krishna. So try to be like that. Try to, in the how, <coughs> all your energy to please Krishna in some way, or unbroken strength, then it will be bhakti. But, Silarupa Goswami has told that this is Uttama Bhakti. In Siddhavastha. Siddhavastha, you know, what is For them it has been told. We cannot. When you will come in a rati state, then you can do something like Bharat. But Bharat, being in the rati state, and he was deep. What? deviated for three lifetimes. He left everything like a stool in the age of half a day and that way half
of age was 50,000 years age he left home. And he came in forest. Anyhow he had some affection from a very dear. And death came at that time. And he was remembering, oh dear, and he became dear. So after that, Rati stayed. We have some chance to fall down. So very careful. So, Obeshwar can do like Rakmaraj. His action part was Satik Daya. Daya means? Sati. <laughs> but he was deviated. So don't have any any attraction or attraction? Attachment. Very good word. Attachment. To any one. Money to devotees, pure devotees, and Krishna, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda. Be always alert and careful for this. When one comes to me, devotees, oh, Maharaj, be merciful to my, oh, this child, that my child should be happy. Why? Do sati, but not good. Oh. We will support and nourish. I did not come there as a duty boy. But don't be attached to him. Only attachment will be with Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Krishna and Radhika, and in the association. So Rupa Goswami has divided bhakti into three parts. Sarup Siddha Bhakti. Sarup Siddha Bhakti. Then eh? Sangha Siddha. And then Aru Siddha. What is Aru Siddha? You. When we're engaged in a certain activity for our own pleasure, but we're offering the results to Krishna so that Krishna Himself will give us pleasure, so that He'll be pleased to please us with material fulfillment of our material desires. But I'm attributing or superimposing the word bhakti on my activity. This is called a rope siddha bhakti. For example, I may be interested in arts and crafts. I may like to sew clothing and I may like to play with dolls. So I uh, worship the deity because it gives me pleasure to make clothing. And I'm also thinking that Krishna, by seeing this activity, which already pleases me, will give me more pleasure and peace and prosperity in this world. Any Gita show can you quote? Sarvadamam parichaja. No. Yeah. Whatever you do, whatever you offer, whatever you give away, should be done as an offering to me. But the problem with that is that I'm thinking that it's mine to offer, and therefore it's not really bhakti. Bhakti, the, in the definition of bhakti, uh, all my endeavors of body, mind, and words is to please Krishna and I'm not thinking that anything belongs to me and I'm giving it to Krishna. It's already Krishna's and my soul is offered to Krishna. But not Prabhu. You're so clear. No. All you should try to know. No. What is Aru Siddha And really you are doing the same or not, you should escape it. Just In order to understand clearly what is Arav Siddha Bhakti, first we have to understand what is 
Sarı usule bakti. Oriyante ve teyze pure bakti. Not like that. There are 64 angas of pure bhakti. Nakshravaram, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam. And so many things which have been described as to the Rupa Goswami in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Now if we perform any activity which is not in this category of 64 items of pure bhakti, and we attribute or superimpose on that activity that this is meant to please Krishna, then that is called Aropasila Bhakti. Example is, we may have a very good business, like flower business, growing flowers, or having a goshala, or having a school, and we offer some of the fruits to Krishna, and thinking that I am performing this activity for Krishna, but really, all the profit and benefit, the position which we get from that, this is for me, yeah, in order to please me. So this is called Aropasida Bhakti. I told for Indian boy. Sydney boy. What you told? Give attention, Korean. Carefully you should hear. I told you that I can ask from anyone. <coughs> Very precious five or six days. That one hour daily you should give me, not thinking anywhere we are. This time is mine. Can you? Yes, sir. No. So Prabhu was explaining that uh, when you do bhakti, uh, it's for the pleasure of Krishna. More, more rather, please. It's for the pleasure of Krishna only and not for our pleasure. So all our activities, uh, as explained by Rupa Goswami, should be dedicated to please Krishna only and not ourselves. Give your thanks. The word Anya Abhilasita means other desires which are outside of giving pleasure or activities which are favorable to Krishna with the intent of giving pleasure to Krishna. So, Aropsita Bhakti uh, has been explained as uh, different activities. Uh, if one has um, an inclination to do something in this material world, whether it be art, crafts, business, whatever, and uh, he offers the fruit of that, um, so that is not wholehearted surrender, Rakhani Vedana, but we're giving part, a part of our fruit, and we're still, the main intention is for the pleasure of our own mind and senses. So that is outside the realm of pure bhakti. Or teacher of Veja, Vijayanandan. Hare Tirtha Pada Prabhu. Tirtha Prada. Yes, we are ready to explain. Shri Bhakti Vinodha Kaur mentions in Bhakti Talk of the Vek that even more dangerous than uh, an atheist is something in the name of bhakti that presents itself rather than the association of devotees. Because an atheist we can recognize right away. So Gurudev is trying to help us uh, in our develop developmental stage so that we don't fall into the pitfalls of uh, Ritvik and um, Babaji, uh, all these different manifestations of things that are presenting themselves in the name of bhakti. So Uttam Bhakti means, as has been explained here, activities of the body, mind, words, accompanied by various spiritual sentiments, emotions, with the consideration of giving pleasure to Krishna. And any other consideration which may manifest in our heart becomes a rope set of bhakti. I may be teaching a school, but if I'm enjoying the fact that I'm leading with the children, and I'm uh, getting so much honor and recognition, then my activities are not devotional service. But if at every moment I'm thinking, how can I give pleasure to my Gurudev? How can I give pleasure to, 
to Krishna, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, then that activity becomes a devotional service. It's not, it's not a question of what we're doing externally. In the nectar of devotion, also Srila Prabhupada mentions, Krishna is not attracted by the service rendered, but it's the attitude of the devotee, what's in his heart that Krishna is attracted to. So our cultivation is an, an affair of the heart. It's not by just engaging our body and mind in our words, but by turning over our very life to our very day. And he'll present our hearts to Radha and Krishna. Oh. There's a lot of standing behind the bus. The term Arokshila Bhakti is the definition Arok meaning to superimpose. There are so many objects in this material world and a devotee naturally wants to engage everything. Or don't sleep. Or don't sleep. Like that, you should be standing like this, oh, very small. Don't. I will make you stand up on the bench. <laughs> so, the term a rope means to superimpose or to label. So there are so many objects in this material world that as devotees we want to engage them all in Krishna's service. So the tendency will be that those objects we have a natural attachment or tendency for, we will want to engage those in Krishna's service as it is very convenient to us or very pleasurable to us. So we have to be very careful that not to mistake this for pure bhakti as this serves our own purpose other than 100% for the purpose of the pleasure and benefit of Sri Krishna. Any example? An example for instance is I like to be a farmer, I like to raise cows or grow flowers or vegetables in the garden. It's cool, so, call it. Like that. So I, will, I will do that for Krishna, offer the flowers to Krishna, offer the milk for the cows to Krishna. This is good activity yeah. to enter into bhakti, but yeah. we should not mistake in this for actual swarupti the bhakti or the intrinsic pure nature of bhakti. Very good. In the beginning, you have to practice beginning from this, then no other method, no option. By this sukriti may come, association may come, and by gradually this, oh, then some siddha may come, and then it may be, oh, real sadhusan you will have, and by this you can enter in sarup This is the method. No other. And that is why Swamiji, your Guru, they introduced all these things, mainly these things, not Sarup Siddha Bhakti, very rare, hmm? only Sarup Siddha Bhakti. And they thought that, oh, by this we can go to, oh, direct Golok Vrindavan, not a stain, not missing, or one minute in, even by Kuntha Bhakti, direct we will go. But, oh, they are now where? Not in Golopinda, opposite. Where? They are in hills. <laughs> not normal. Not Especially the hell look. <laughs> Giving of Swamiji. Pranam for ever. Hmm? Keeping aside all his teaching. Hmm? Those who are Driyasa. Okay. They are not deficiating anyhow with weak heart. But those who are uh, insulting him, dishonoring him, but more than this, disobeying and telling him that he was not good, 
इंग्लिश नो बोनाफाइड गुरु ही देन एंड दे आर टीचिंग फॉर दिस सो दे आर आई इन हेल्प रियली दे आर अपोजिट एंड दो नहीं हाउ दो आई लेफ्ट ब्रह्मचर्या आश्रम एंड दे आर कम टू फैमिली लाइफ इट इज सो मच सो मच बेटर फॉर दे आर फॉलोइंग हिज इंस्ट्रक्शन गोइंग नॉ दे आर नॉट सो मच Deviated. I think they are deviated. Though those who are in the rhythmic system, those who are like this, from Canada, Sharanagati, and telling no, don't name, and they are telling that oh he he is he was not really born of that guru. So we should know that shabdam, kirtan, smaranam, adshiva, achanam, bandhanam, dasham, sakham, atma. These are sarupshidha bhav. Among them, among the sixty-four limbs of bhakti. साधु संग नाम कीर्तन भागवत श्रवण मथुरा श्री मुक्ति सकल साधन श्रेष्ठ ए पांच अंग कृष्ण प्रेम जन्माए पांच अल्प संग इवन ए वेरी स्मॉल ऑफ दिस सर्वशिद्धा भक्ति दि फाइव लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति आर वेरी पावरफुल लाइक कृष्ण साधु संग Like Nara, like Sukadev Goswami, like Guru Sanatan, like any of our disciple Guru, so the bhakti we don't have, so the Guru has no Guru. These are most high class of limbs of bhakti, and these are some Siddha bhakti, and among five, oh, but. If even very small part, very small amount is done for this five, Krishna pain is bound to come. But only offence is there, blockage. If anyhow some offence to whom they to waste no ten like kinds of offences, be very careful. If you are even in bazaar, hasi, even in joking, you are making offence of any guru, Vaishnava, then it is very hard. These five limbs cannot do anything. But if there is no fraud and you are continuing, oh, very soon, what very soon? In one, two, three, four, ten, but you can attain Krishna. Even in thousand lives you have attended, or oh, very soon it is, very soon. Really, it has been told in Shrimad Bhagavatam. Dharma prajyati kai kavo atra parvo nanas. Shrimad Bhagavati maa Bhagavati maa ne kute. Vishwara shatyo avaridya. Kriti vi sushri takkhana takkhana. वही तक इमीडिएट वही इमीडिएट ए पर्सन हु इज इन द एंडलेस चेन ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ फ्रॉम फर्स्ट क्रिएशन और नॉट इन दिस टाइम बिफोर टाइम वाज मेड एंड अपटिल नाउ यू आर गोइंग एंड इफ यू आर In the Sukta Pyo Bhakti, then or it is really very tapkhana, immediate. And from Shrimad Bhagavati, from there you begin to hear Shrimad Bhagavati. Tapkhana was huh? starting. 
big it. Don't disbelieve. Hundred percent, more than hundred percent. Oh, it is true. Tatkana. But if what you are doing not in the lens of bhakti days. And you are thinking that this is bhakti. Like a school for training of devotees. But you know the result, so many kidnapping and bad things went done in Swamiji has taught him. A school for children, devoted children. And they were cheated. And they became or against of them. But there is something there also. Chance to initiate. Oh, no, if no Sarvadan Kirtan Vishnu is Maranam there, are any limbs of Bhakti? Only Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, or Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam. There must be. And he, all the <coughs> Mm. These symptoms are not there, but we to to please Krishna, <coughs> like you have a garden, and you are giving your whole energy in garden. In evening or morning, you go to your garden, oh, picking up some flowers, tulsi, and some fruits of that garden, and you are giving to Thakurji in temple. And in that temple there are pujaris, very selfish, bad nature. They don't give it to, offer it to Thakuji, they take it to their homes. And oh, very tasteful, very sweet. Then what is this? What is this? Silly thing? If even it is given to Thakuji, offered. But not whole. Why not you are offering yourself to Thakuji? That I am of Krishna. If you are thinking that I am of Krishna, like gopis, like Mother Jasoda, like others, even for Shadhan Bhakti also, it can be used. Whatever do, to please Krishna, to Gurudev and Vaishnava. But these things are what? In the category of Arokshita. Bhakti is imposed there, but not clear. If you are doing nothing, Hare Krishna chanting, then Sarupara It will be some effect. If Namapara, Abhe, even. It is destroyed by repenting and chanting regularly without destroying. Then it is so. By hearing Hari Katha, first hearing. So this is so. So Arok Siddha Bhakti, not pure Bhakti, not in the category Bhakti of Sarup Siddha. And there are so many, so many examples for it. Be careful. Whether you are in Arushiddha Bhakti or in Sarushiddha, you can judge yourself. And then Sarushiddha Bhakti. What is Sarushiddha Bhakti? You, Madhavara. Not so elaborate. Also, don't chant for you. Chant for whom? Thinking that Nama Chintamani, Krishna, Chaitanya, Rasa Vigra, Purna Sutra, Nitya Mukta, Avinakpan. So chant for Krishna, for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu.
So, so Gurudeva's order to explain Sangha Siddha Bhakti. Sangha Siddha means Siddha means get perfection. Sangha means by association. If anything is not pure bhakti, but get some perfection, according to association it is called Sangha Siddha Bhakti. If I give an example, then it will be clear. Just like during initiation, we are doing fire sacrifice. In fire sacrifice, we are offering ingredients in the fire, like Oin Gurave Swaha, Krishna Swaha, etc. So, for this fire sacrifice, we have to collect some bricks, some sand, carbon, wood, ghee, etc., etc. All this, collecting all this thing, actually is not bhakti. Not fire sacrifice. Actually is not fire sacrifice. But they are connected with fire sacrifice. So we call it also fire sacrifice. Actually fire sacrifice is that which are offering in the fire. So similarly, in Vaishnavas there are 26 kinds of qualities. Main one is Krishna Inka Saran. If you are Krishna Inka Saran, then it is okay. And if in Krishna Inka Saran, Krishna Inka Saran means I am surrendered to Krishna only. So if this kind of propensity is there, it is good. With Krishna Inka Saran, if there is other qualities, like Kripalu, Akritadraha, Sattva, Sarsama, etc., etc., means merciful, very, not to be always, cosmic merciful, always speak truth, and always equal to everyone. If this quality with Krishna Inka Saran, then the qualities which is attached with Krishna Inka Saran, they are also called Sarup Siddha, Sangha Siddha Bhakti. If these qualities are there, but not Krishna Inka Saran is there, then it is not Sangha Siddha Bhakti. Like in this world, there are so many type of person, their mood of goodness. They are not Krishna Inka Saran. They are very merciful to others. They are speak true. They are equal to others. But their activities is not called Sangha Siddha Bhakti. If Krishna Inka Saran, then other qualities is regarded as Sangha Siddha Bhakti. If not, then it is not Sangha Siddha Bhakti. So, if Sarup Siddha Bhakti is there, and it is not like Brajat Kura told, that Sarup Bhakti means, if Sarup Siddha Bhakti is there, but if not Sarup Siddha Bhakti, we want to get Sarup Siddha Bhakti. For this reason, we are trying at our level best to get Sarup Siddha Bhakti. Like in association of Vaishnavas, so many persons have come, some are some advanced, some are less advanced, some are quite neophyte, who is not taken initiative yet. So they came and told by other place, oh, it is so much bhakti. How? Because they are also in association of Gurudev. So one is there is pure devotee. Under his guidance, if we are doing some bhakti, then this call also Sangha Siddha Bhakti. Hare Krishna. So there are many qualities that are found in the scriptures that are considered to be good qualities, like honesty and truthfulness and kindness. But by themselves, these qualities are not bhakti. However, when they become associated with a uh, pure bhakti, then they can be called Sangha Siddha Bhakti. These qualities, these qualities which are themselves not bhakti can attain the quality of bhakti. Um, I wanted to point out one thing, this very interesting phenomenon that uh, Aranya Maharaj and I were noticing in 
uh, uh, Iskand, that Srila Gurdjieff has pointed out that Srila Prabhupada engaged us in so much Arosita Bhakti because we were not qualified for Swarovsita Bhakti and we actually didn't have any good qualities either to engage in Bhakti. We weren't very truthful, we weren't very kind, we know these things. So we were engaged in so many, and so our, our crooked natures were engaged in service and when Srila Prabhupada left the world, uh, he, we thought because his activities were bhakti, we went on doing them, but then they became corrupt. And Gurdjieff really has pointed out so many discrepancies that were there. So now there's a, a phenomenon uh, we've noticed in studying some uh, speeches being given by Iskand leaders. They're trying to stress to the devotees now that they should come to this platform giving up a rope siddha bhakti, coming to sangha siddha bhakti, developing good qualities, being honest in their dealings with each other and the material, with people in the material world. So they're trying to elevate, they've seen this problem that a rope siddha bhakti can uh, backfire, they can backfire, can lead to um, degradation. So they're trying to bring good qualities into the society. but. Again, we should realize this is still not Srila Bhakti. Srila Gurudev gave very good uh, instructions in Kartik that Bhakti is a function of Hiladini Shakti. That means Bhakti is, uh, its intrinsic nature is that it's, it's Radharani's own mood of serving Krishna. Everything Radharani is doing is designed for serving Krishna. And everything in the spiritual material worlds is all ultimately a manifestation of her energies and it's coming from Radharani so that she can use it for pleasing Krishna's unlimited desires. Krishna has unlimited desires to be satisfied and Radharani is expert at satisfying all those desires. So she has uh, expanded herself for that purpose. So Bhakti is uh, Radharani's own mood of satisfying Krishna's desires. It's purely spiritual. Shuddha Sattva. Uh, there's a verse, Shuddha Sattva Vishe Shatma. Prema Suri Amsa Samya Pak. Ruch Bish Chitamashanya Kridaso Bhada Uchate. That uh, this uh, bhav or spiritual emotion uh, of the sprout of Prem, the beginning of Prem, is like the uh, ray of sunlight which is coming from the sun of the uh, pure devotee's heart. And when that mixes with the conditioned souls, uh, when that shoot us up, when that pure uh, mood mixes with the heart of the conditioned soul, it becomes, uh, it creates different tastes, the ruchi beer, in the chitta in the heart. These three ruchis, or a mixture of, of taste, uh, are called bhav and are the beginning of signs of praying. So actually bhakti is a pure function of the spiritual senses of the uh, soul. They're not a function of our material mind and body and senses like a rov siddha bhakti and sangha siddha bhakti. These are things that are performed by material body and mind and senses under the guidance of guru. And as Sri Gurudev just pointed out, these are the beginning because you have to start somewhere. We don't have our spiritual body and senses, so we have to use our material body and mind and senses to start service under guidance of Guru. The problem is, when we lose the guidance of Guru, we think that those things we're still doing with our mind and senses are still bhakti, then we would be misled and go down. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, Sarup Siddha Bhakti has been described as the 64 limbs, especially the 9 and 5. And Rup Siddha Bhakti means when somebody is not performing one of these 64 limbs of Bhakti, or 9 or 5, but is performing some activity and offering the fruits to Krishna. This is a Rup Siddha Bhakti. So, how about a devotee who is not reach that stage when the Dini Shanti is coming 
and in performing the activity with material senses, whether Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Sramanam, Padasikam, etc., they're performing with their material activities and in this way of worshipping the deity, but realization is not there. So in one sense it can be said that there's a super imposition. So sometimes the bodies say that this is also a rose of the bhakti when it's not realized. So my question is, what is the situation? Yeah. His question is, <coughs> his question is, if we perform the activities 64 angas of pure bhakti, but we are not realized, we may be somewhat influenced by Charles. Distinguities for Rishidhar. Distinguities. No. It is not our Rishidhar. Never. 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 It may be Tamsik, Rajasik, Satvik, and so many mixture of Anya, Vilasika, Radhi, and Yukta. Covered. And covered with Karma, Dhyan, and Tapasya. But still, it is so.